three and seven uh, season of a year ago, just a distant memory last Saturday as Mountain View took the field at Cupertino High in a first place showdown with the Pioneers. Great entertainment as always at the Cupertino game. Mountain View drive and it's a Guillermo Morera. He pounds his way in and the Spartans have a seven nothing lead. Cupertino now moving the ball well in the first half. Here's a nice play on the fake punt. Kane Ramirez, Baker throws to a wide open Matt Leavenworth. That led to a field goal, 7-3 Mountain View. Just before the half, the Spartans bound a 91-yard drive. Sean Manson tries the fade to Jonathan Lamb, who hauls it in. Touchdown, Spartans, 14-3, with just five seconds left in the half. Early second half, Trevor Hooper says, get out of the way. He is in for another Mountain View score, and then Manson to throw again. Again, it's Lamb with his first two career touchdowns. A terrific diving catch there. Mountain View all alone in first place after the 27-3 victory. The win left Mountain View all alone in first place with just three games remaining. It also earned the Spartans a trip to SNS Goodyear in Sunnyvale and a chance to wrap about the season with Strawberry from the wild 94-9 bum rush. Hey, thanks, Robert. We're out here at the Goodyear Tires, El Camino and Murphy in Sunnyvale. Whether your car's out of oil, you hit a bump and your alignment's out, or your tires are slashed, they got you. Whatever you need, Goodyear on Murphy in Sunnyvale, and they're a proud member of the Goodyear family. And we out here with the members of the Mountain View High School varsity football team. <laughs> These are my dogs right here, number one in their division, all because you guys beat Cupertino the other night. Talk about that game. Well, we came out in the first quarter, you know, kind of set the tone with our first drive. We went all the way down and scored. We helped them do a field goal the whole game, and uh, I think we, we came out in the second half and just shut them down. In the third quarter, we kind of put the game away. Lewis Hall, senior captain. Last year, Mountain View was 3-6-1. and one. This year, number one rated, like we said. What's the difference between last year's team, this year's team, your standing? What are you guys doing different? Uh, last year, we were a young and inexperienced team, and uh, this year we look to hard work and leadership into making a successful season. Another senior captain, Trevor Hooper, right here. Like I said, last year's record not that good. This year's record incredible. What are your goals? Anybody you're not, not too uh, sure about? Um, well, we have three tough league games left. Uh, we got Limburg this week, Homestead the week after that, and then Monta Vista. Um, so the title's in our hands right now. We've been working real hard, so we want to get that championship and go to the playoffs. Trevor, thanks very much. Good luck in the rest of the season. Mountain View, good luck. Strawberry right here from Wild 94.9 on the radio every night from 6 to 10. That's the bum rush. This is the Mountain View football team. Guys, take it away. The view is on a war path. <laughs> the view is on a war path. <laughs> the view is on a war path. <laughs> What's up? We hold it down out here. What's up, Dre? Robert, it's all yours back in the studio. All right, thanks, Straw. The Milpita Spike. Throw it in. Assistance comes to an end right now. Here we go. It's time for the Hill College Play of the Week. Let's start the countdown. At number four, Alhambra Sean Burke goes up the middle and down the sidelines. It's a 99-yard touchdown on their way to a big win against Los Lomas. Burke's 99-yard run is at number four. That's a huge play. At number three, Mountain View Sean Manson throws the ball right on the money to Jonathan Lamb, who lays out and makes a great catch in the end zone. Lamb at number three. At number two, we head to the water. David Shortenhouse of Los Lomas steals the ball. Oh, a great spin move. You get wide open and drill the goal. That's a terrific play. Any other week is play of the week, but not this week because San Ramon Valley, Sam Keller to Brody Stringer, who tips the ball with one hand and bounces off his legs into his hands. Is this Antonio Freeman on Monday Night Football? No, it's Brody Stringer on Sports Focus, and that, for sure, is the play of the week. That's our show for this week. Thank you so much for watching. See you right at Mountain View Friday, Spartans hosting Monta Vista in the Battle of the MV. Spartans fans ready to rock and roll. Opening drive, Mountain View's Jordan Nelson runs through the heart of the Monta Vista line. Nelson ran for 124 yards in the game. This time, Spartans go for the quick slant. Sean Manson, Ryan Wilcox, Mountain View keeps moving the chain. Next play, Trevor Hooper. Hooper. Happened the Spartans' impressive 80-yard opening drive. Hooper makes it 6-0 Spartans. Hooper for 120 yards rushing, two TDs. Second quarter, Mountain View's Sean Manson going for it all to Jonathan Lamb. Was Lamb in on this play? Uh, yeah, yeah. Referee say yes, 12-0. Mountain View, Spartans defense stepping it up. Number 50, John Buchanan with a nice fill on the trap. 33-13 the final. Buchanan and the Mountain View Spartans are 5-1. They clinch the automatic CCS bid.
Mountain Projector. All right, it'll be second and five for Mountain View. 7.15 to go here in the opening quarter. In a game that has been uh, all Mountain View. Manson, short drop, pump fake, throws towards the end zone for Lamb. Lamb is there, makes the catch. Yes, for the touchdown. And now a 20 to nothing Mountain View lead as Jonathan Lamb took another perfect pass from Sean Manson. And Manson looking very confident in the backfield. Took the very short drop, put it right on the money to Lamb. Ellison for the extra point. Snap spot kick is up, it is blocked. And that's about the only thing that has gone on for Mountain View in this ball game so far today. 6.49 to go in the first quarter. We'll take another look at the touchdown pass from Manson to Lamb. You see the very short three-step drop, the pump fake, and then a perfectly placed pass to Jonathan Lamb in the corner of the end zone for the touchdown and a 20 to nothing Mountain View lead. And that fires up the Mountain View crowd as their school flag goes flying across the front of the hometown bleachers. The Mountain View Spartans, Lindbrook, will come out to receive. And Jonathan Lamb will come out for some kickoff duties. He'll defend the kickoff. We'll see if there's one to defend. It's twice now Hal Ellison has gone into the end zone. We'll see if he can get the hat trick right here with 6.49 to go in the opening quarter. We have played less than half of the first quarter and Mountain View has 20 points. So there it is. Ellison kicks this one deep yet again. This one might not make the end zone, and no, it does. Just barely is. Number 11, Sean and I said, my oh my, I just can't get to return a kick. Look at the standings in the El Camino division. You see Mountain View, the only undefeated team. And they have already beaten Cupertino, so if they can run the table, they could be the El Camino Division champions. Los Altos and Lundbrook. Both 0 for 3. Better look at it from the reverse. You see Hooper running into your living room. Forcing Nelson downfield to block for him. Kind of going right along, joined at the hip. Finally get Hooper down, but not before they reach and grab for the face mask and attacks on some additional yardage gets the Spartans down inside the 30 to the 28 yard line where they'll set up first and 10. Manson to pass looking for Lamb he's wide open can the defender close on him no he can't the push into the end zone of Lamb for the touchdown and Jonathan Lamb just Every game we see him just exuding more and more confidence. A great play by the junior wide receiver in for the end zone. And Ian Manson hooking up yet again, both of them only juniors. So a lot of that will be seen again next year as Ellison's on for the extra point. That one is also good. And with 10.54 to go in the second, it is 34 to nothing. Mountain View, another look at Jonathan Lamb's catch and him being pushed into the end zone for the touchdown. And from the reverse angle, you're just wondering if number three, Greg New, is going to be able to close in on Lamb in time, and he was not able to do so. And Lamb, with great concentration, hung in there, made the catch, took the hit, and ended up with six points. It is 34 to nothing. Mountain View with a bundle of time to go before the half. And at this rate, Mountain View could score 100. A 
Lindbrook looking relatively shell-shocked on the sidelines. And some of the Mountain View crowd completely and utterly enjoying today's game. They may be hold, handing out no-dos at halftime if the score gets any worse. Or maybe they can just start the halftime show. <laughs> Mountain View in action tonight as they travel south to face Willow Glen. Willow Glen fans coming out to cheer. Mountain View, Sean Manson completes the 42-yard pass to John Lamb. That was good for a first down. Manson again, this time finding his man, Brad Reed, for a four-yard touchdown completion. Mountain View up 19-0. Manson connecting this time with Jack, Jeff Ekinoff. 20 yard touchdown pass, Mountain View up 26-0. Willow Glenn not about to be shut out. Justin Johnson gets this one to go 35 yards into the hands of number two, Alex Green. After a stiff goal line stance, Johnson Finally, finally gets in on a quarterback sneak for the touchdown, but Mountain View would take the win, 26 to seven. Oh, in 200 stores, including retail shops, the Van Skate Park, movie theaters, restaurants, you name it, they got it here. Come check it out. The defending champs of the Santa Clara El Camino Division are here with us at the Great Mall. Please welcome the Mountain View football team. This is senior Shante, his day Ortega. Nice win last week against Willow Glen. What's the vibe like? How are you guys feeling? Uh, we're feeling great. Good win. Coming off a good win. Good bunch of guys out here. You know, we're just having fun. How'd you guys, you guys played real well offensively, defensively? Talk about that a little bit. I don't know. It's just team chemistry. We're just a bunch of new guys out here, and we're just, you know, just doing our thing. Uh, quarterback Sean Manson, you guys lost two big guys last year to graduation, uh, J.D. and uh, Trevor. Talk about how this team is going to fill those holes. Well, um, J.D. and Trevor were two great backs, but uh, this year we have two backs that are stepping up with uh, Tyreek and Guillermo. And, I mean, basically our offensive line has been getting it done, um, opened up holes for the running backs and giving me enough time to throw the ball. So we're doing pretty good without them. I'm with junior Dan Kroom. Dan, uh, El Camino Division competitive obviously you guys are defending champs you have homestead cupertino what will this team have to do to remain competitive well those are two great teams but we've been working hard in practice last week was a pretty good start this week of practice has been even better so if we can keep that up i think we'll be all right and be competitive all right you guys good luck this season before we go who needs help here with math a lot of people do huh yeah. All right. Well, you know what? The Great Mall, they've been so nice. They're going to give you guys free calculators. How about that? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, of course, we want to thank the Great Mall for uh, bringing these guys down, the Mountain View football team. Uh, watch out for them. They're going to be strong this season. But before we go, where's my boy Jeff? Hook it up, Jeff. The view is on the warpath. <laughs> View is on the war path. View is on the war path. Can you hook me up with one of those calculators? You want one? I got one for yeah, you. Sweet. All right. Well, the view was in a good <laughs> mood when they hooked up with Nubal on Thursday, but would that enthusiasm translate to a victory on Friday? Well, let's find out as Mountain View hosted Saratoga this afternoon. It's the Mountain View High School Entertaining School Band on this hot afternoon. The Spartans get going right away. First possession, Tariq Bright gets the rock, turns the corner. Tariq Bright is out. Into the end zone for the touchdown.